Welcome. It's Tony Kishawi here reporting for the What's On in Gympie. And I have uh, with me, here, I have Andreas Martin Kona. Now, is that, am I pronouncing that correctly? Is uh, Andreas? That's great. Yeah, it Andreas is good. Martin Kona, yeah. But everyone calls you Martin. Yeah. Yes, and he's here with the, uh, the uh, concert that's happening here with the Chamber Philharmonia Colleen Orchestra, all the way from Germany. Yes. Just to come to Gympie. No, not <laughs> no. just to Gympie. Just uh, all over so, Queensland. So that's going to be my first question. Where yeah. have you been? I was started on 14th June in Toowoomba. Uh -huh. uh, spent a week around Brisbane and performed in Brisbane St. John's Cathedral. And this is uh, the first one on our way up to the north, heading up to Cairns and even Port Douglas. And is that then, right? Right to the top? Yes. And, and um, you're, you're in a church here. You're in Sem We're in St. Pat's uh, Church here in Gympie. And um, uh, it seems to be a common uh, venue. Do you choose uh, churches on purpose? Yes, we do this worldwide. Uh, it's our opinion that the music we are performing, the music of Vivaldi, Bach, Mozart, most of this music was compu composed for the church, and uh, we do worldwide concerts in churches, performing. Okay. Yeah, so um, there's eight people, eight pieces in your orchestra. What is that called? I know what it is, a trio, and, and then there's a sextet, but what is an eight piece? It's a chamber orchestra. Chamber orchestra. Yeah, it can, be, uh, it can be bigger, can be even a bit less, but eight musicians is fine for chamber music, and uh, it gives each of the musicians a chance to work as a soloist as well. Okay, we've had a pretty good turnout here tonight. At, uh, it's Friday night at St. Pat's here, and uh, uh, I've caught the first half of the evening. And uh, so the so the uh, program is Vivaldi, Mozart, and Pat Paganini. Yes. Um, how do you actually choose your uh, your program like this? So the first thing is um, we try to be popular. We have to be popular. Um, we know we're playing the Four Seasons, at least one of them in each concert, and we, we know Australians just love it, and so we have to be popular. And we can't perform Stravinsky here, and so we go for Vivaldi, Mozart, Paganini. Okay, and um, the orchestra. Now, do you want to introduce them? Uh, we've got their names on the program here. Um, the first half we had a solo violinist, or it wasn't solo, but he was a feature uh, violinist. Who was that playing? This was Sergei Didorenko. He's my principal violinist and concertmaster worldwide. And uh, he's not the, the only one we have. In Cologne I have about 70 musicians, but I can't bring them all over here to yes. Australia. And the next uh, piece was featuring a clarinet, clarinetist. This was a, a young, very skilled and talented Sene Kumans from Belgium. Right. And she's one of our young stars. Excellent. So, you know, you, you mentioned that you've got other musicians back in, in Germany. And you are touring in Australia every year. Is that right? Yes. Uh, it's the third time we are here in Queensland. Work. And how do you how do you afford to do this? I mean, like you're touring with eight people. Do you have a, a mini bus and uh, you stay in hotels? Yes, we have a mini bus outside the church. We stay in hotels, and uh, we are used to this way of traveling all over the world. Are you funded by any um, government or arts organization? And um, we are, in a way, we are funded in Germany by Mercedes Benz. Okay, uh, they. They gave us a tour bus, a 12 seater, and this is touring all over Europe and is a big help financially for, for the orchestra to, to do it. But naturally, we can't bring this car to Australia. No, no. <laughs> okay, so um, I did capture some of the footage in the first half, yeah. and uh, I might leave the audience that might be watching this video right now to have a, a listen to the marvelous musicians here. So thank you very much for speaking with me, Martin. Thanks, Tony. Okay. See you next year.